What's good, YouTube? Hit man, Ace. Make sure I hit that like, hit that sub. Show your boy some love. Real quick video, man. Since um, <clears throat> all the dust has settled with this DeAndre Aiden situation, uh, listen. When are y'all gonna learn to listen to your boy, man? I say listen every video. I say listen, listen, and nobody listens, right? I told people there's only two options with this DeAndre Aiden situation For, since last year. When the Phoenix Suns offered him a low ball contract, quote unquote, and people were asking me, "Oh, what's the what's the Phoenix Suns doing here, man? Hit man, what are they doing? Oh, what y'all gonna do about the DeAndre Ayton situation?" That had to be the most frustrating year that I personally had to deal with, being a Phoenix Suns fan, because so many casual people on the outside looking in had uh, strong opinions when it came to DeAndre Ayton. Right? Like either we was gonna lose DeAndre Ayton for nothing. Right, which I don't understand why we would, or that the Phoenix Suns didn't value DeAndre Aiden and didn't use him right. Take that however you want to take it. Right. Bottom line is, I've been telling people for the last year, it's only two options with DeAndre Aiden: a former number one overall pick, you sign and trade him, right, to whoever sends him an offer sheet, or you keep him on that offer sheet that they offer him. Because he's worth it, right? You don't play by DeAndre Ayton's uh, uh, rules. Like I said, we had the chips all along. We had leverage in this situation all along because he's a restricted free agent. If he's an unrestricted free agent, we having a different conversation, right? Then he could probably walk for nothing, right? For instance, the situation that Kyrie Irving's in with Brooklyn, he has the leverage. This isn't the same situation, right? Because we can match. I feel like a lot of times people ignore blatant facts when it's sitting right there in their face for whatever reason, whether it be narratives, emotions, right? Hatred, whatever it is, they ignore clear facts, right? Now, the Indiana Pacers lost on this one. They were sitting around here playing fake tough, right? They were sitting around here getting their hopes up. And I ain't got nothing against Indiana Pacers. I actually rock with the Indiana Pacers. I've been rocking with them for a while now. Right, I want to see them be successful. I thought them getting DeAndre Aiden. Uh, first of all, I thought they was going to get him. I thought they was going to find a way to do a sign and trade. Be smart about it. Be wise about it. Um, but it's the reason why they're in the situation they're in now. But them getting DeAndre Aiden alongside with Tyrese Halliburton, uh, Ben Matherin, and all those guys they got over there, that would have been great to see. I'm not going to lie to you. Just as a basketball fan, I would have loved to see that especially seeing how DeAndre Aiden gets a bad shake from Suns fans even, right? A lot of people think he's he just not a talented big. So you send him to a team where he could be featured. I believe he can put up way better numbers. But um, like I said, we had the leverage and the Indiana Pacers played themselves. It's just that simple, man. It's the reason why in my Ben Matherin video, I was saying, listen, if we're the Phoenix Suns, and like I said, we all, know, we all knew the Phoenix Suns were going to keep DeAndre Aiden. Y'all want DeAndre Aiden that bad? Give us Ben Matherin. That's why I reached so hard for that one. Because I know the Indiana Pacers really want DeAndre Aiden. And we value DeAndre Aiden. So let's make this work for both teams. Otherwise, you're going to lose DeAndre Aiden. Now they're sitting around disappointed. That's your fault. It's your fault, Indiana Pacers. Talking about what's plan B. Plan B is Wimbenyama, right? Plan B is let's tank for the number one overall pick. But y'all have y'all still have a good core over there. Uh, uh, I like Tyrese Halliburton. Y'all know how I feel about him. Ben Matherin, I've been telling y'all about that guy. Before the draft, I've been telling y'all about Ben Matherin. Let's not act like this is brand new. Right? They got a nice core over there. Chris Duarte. Uh, I was hoping we can get him in the sign and trade. Like that was the more likely realistic option was getting Chris Duarte and, and maybe Miles Turner. But from what I'm hearing, the Phoenix Suns wasn't even interested in doing a sign and trade i mean as soon as this offer sheet was signed they immediately matched it so that just goes to show you how much they value deandre Aiden. it was never about oh we don't want to sign him to the max oh we don't want to go into the luxury tax it was always politics with deandre Aiden. it was always let's test the market let's test his value let's see how everybody else values him point blank simple so now we see now we see what it is it's not rocket science, though. It was never rocket science. Now, what's next for DeAndre Aiden? I felt like we 
like I said, now that we have him secured with the bag, you're happy now. You got what you wanted, DeAndre. Now, let's see where your mind really is. Do you want to be a top five big? Because a lot of people put you in that conversation. I have. I've put you over guys like uh, Carl Anthony Towns. Right? I know that sounds crazy, but I've put you over guys like Carl Anthony Towns. So, bonus, I understand what you can bring when you're locked in. But that's the question. Are you locked in? I mean, I, we've seen videos uh, uh, a week ago with you being in the gym and uh, working on your uh, working on your game or whatever. That's all fine and dandy, DeAndre. But are you going to translate that on the court? It's no more excuses. It's no more, oh, I don't get enough touches. I'm not featured. That's bullshit. I, I hear a lot of people say that, Suns fans, people outside of Suns Nation, saying that he doesn't get featured. I believe that to be bullshit because there are times in which we try to feature DeAndre Aiden, and he's not ready. He's not locked in. I'm like, dude, you're in your third, fourth year. Mikael Bridges is not featured, and he damn near averages the same amount of points as you. Mikael Bridges isn't featured. He finds ways to be effective on the court. That's not an excuse, DeAndre Aiden. Right, and I'm not trying to hear no excuses about him being him getting needing touches anymore from anybody. Simple and plain. We all know what he can do. He needs to be locked in and ready coming into the season. Monty Williams uh, needs to humble himself and make that situation right because I feel like he soured that situation and helped perpetuate that narrative that DeAndre Ayton uh, was bad for the team or that he wants to go. So Monty Williams. DeAndre Aiden need to swallow their pride, sit down, have a conversation, and make this right. Simple and plain. Now, as far as the Kevin Durant situation, um, I don't believe this hurts the Kevin Durant situation. We, I mean, look, here's here's the thing. Let me break that down for you, because we're about to we're about to kill hypocrisy right now. Um, uh, we've all heard the Brooklyn Nets come out and say we don't want DeAndre Aiden. So how was how was this killing? The 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 uh the Kevin Durant trade. If the Brooklyn Nets never wanted DeAndre Aiden in the first place, somebody help me understand that, right? This all this tells me is that we have a chance to. Well, first of all, it tells me that Mikael Bridges is definitely gone. Now, there's no there's no situation in which we do a three three team trade and move DeAndre Aiden instead of Mikael Bridges and and get other assets. Nah, that's not happening. And I I, I never really put too much merit into that. It's always about Mikael Bridges. You hear, you heard them say, oh, well, we don't want DeAndre Aiden, them being the Nets. You, you, you heard them say that, but you never heard them say they don't want Mikael Bridges. Keep that in mind, people. You never heard them say they don't want Cam Johnson. It's politics. You heard the Phoenix Suns say, oh, we're going to do everything in our power to keep Mikael Bridges. You got to read between the lines. These people aren't, aren't going to come out and tell you what the offers are if they're negotiating. Right, the teams that's out of the racing, out of the race, like the Raptors, right, the Heat, the Pelicans, the Timberwolves. You've heard offers get declined. You've heard their negotiations. You've seen their offers, and you've seen what was declined. In all scenarios, you haven't seen any situation like that with the Phoenix Suns. You haven't seen their their Godfather father offer. We're just out here speculating. We're all playing GM, right? which I think is corny. We need to stop doing that. Put the trade machine down. Put your phone down, right? And go outside and, and enjoy life. I know it's hard to enjoy life when, you know, the weather is keeping it 100, especially here in Texas. But go outside and do something, man. Stop going, getting online, putting out these fake trades and fake scenarios. We don't know what's going on. Just be patient, bro. Bottom line is the Phoenix Suns are still in good hands when it comes to this Kevin Durant situation. I believe Kevin Durant will be a Phoenix Suns. I mean, we we still haven't seen the biggest domino fall. This is just a small domino. The biggest domino that will fall is Kevin Durant's statement. If Kevin Durant comes out and says, either I want to stay with the Brooklyn Nets or I want to play with the, the Phoenix Suns, that's going to get everything moving a lot faster. And regard, uh, depending on how he comes out, that can either help or hurt the Brooklyn Nets. It's just that simple. If he comes out and says, I want to play with the Phoenix Suns and only the Suns, now you're talking about a lot less that the Phoenix Suns have to give up. Right? Instead of, oh, I want to play with the Brooklyn Nets, and then they go out there and they try to run it back. Simple and plain. Hitman Nets, that's all I got, though. Hit that comment section. Let me know how you feel about this one. I'm out of here.